struggling with my problems, looking for someone, someone to help me out. Then I met this man, he told me he was Jesus, and that he loves me more than anything. Then he showed me his gift hands, beaten on the cross, and by his shed blood I am free. He was crushed for my transgression, loose for my iniquity, and by his shed blood I am free. My name is Pastor Brett Leonard. I am with Shiloh Fellowship Ministries in Washington State in the USA. And the problem that brought me here to Ark of God's Covenant Ministries is that I had very severe digestive problems for over 20 years. There were many, many things that I could not eat caused many problems, very severe digestive problems. I had a very hard time eating uh, foods that were fatty, like I couldn't eat anything made with oil, any kind of oil, anything that had oil in it or that had been baked or cooked and fried in oil, I could not eat. I had a very hard time with meat. I could not eat any meat. The only kind of meat that I could eat was white chicken and you had to boil it and boil it a long time. So that was very difficult at times. I had troubles with nuts. I couldn't eat any kind of nuts. I couldn't eat any kind of dairy. If I would eat these things, they would cause me to get very, very sick. They would cause me to vomit. They would cause me to have severe diarrhea. For over 20 years, I had uh, many problems, many sleepless nights because of things that I couldn't eat. I got to the place where I couldn't eat citrus fruits. Um, I couldn't eat tomatoes, anything made with tomatoes, and that's very difficult. And so um, this really affected me negatively. It affected my family. Uh, my wife had to work v very hard because she would have to prepare my food separate from my, the rest of my family's food. And so it was like she was doing two jobs at the same time. And uh, it just really affected us. It affected me as a minister uh, because I would travel. And I think it's been almost 10 years since I have eaten in a restaurant. And people know that ministers like to eat at restaurants. And so that was very difficult for me. And it would cause so many problems. Even coming to visit Eggcom was very difficult because I had to... Uh, pack food that I could eat. I had to bring cans of food uh, because I knew not. this was my first time to Africa and I, I knew I would have troubles and I always told God I could never come to Africa unless he healed me first. And so it, all, it, would, it would cause me a setback. It would keep me from, from doing things that God would want me to do. Sir, please can you tell us the symptoms you've been experiencing due to this digestive problem? The symptoms that I would have was I would have very severe pain, very bad cramping. I remember one night I thought I was going to die because I, f the pains were so bad I, I was even asking the Lord to take me. I would have very severe diarrhea, which caused other problems. I'd have uh, vomiting at times. Uh, because my stomach was so upset. Many nights where I would have eaten something that I either didn't know upset me or um, there was something in that food that I was not aware of and it would affect me and I would be up all night, no sleep whatsoever. And I tried many times. I went to many doctors to seek for specialists to seek for an answer and the only thing they could do was prescribe me some medicines and so for for many years with every single meal that I have eaten I have to take a prescription enzyme in order to eat even the food that I have talked to you that I've already mentioned I would have to take that uh, pill with every meal but the doctors could never cure my situation 
they could only treat it. They could find no cure. One doctor diagnosed me with pancreatitis. I've had ultrasounds and I've had many things. I've had scopes uh, to try and figure out what the problem was, but it was just mysterious to the doctors. Uh, the way it would affect me in activities was when I would have severe pain in my stomachs, I would always have to sit very comfortably. It would, it would affect my sleep, like I said before. It would make me very weak. Uh, sometimes when I would have a bout with my stomach, it would take me days to recover, so I'd be very weak. I would, I, would, I would not go anywhere. And even in the ministry, I had to be very, very, very careful that I did not eat something that would affect me so that I would miss a service. So it hindered me in, in, in many times. How do you get to know about the ministry at home? And when you came here, what happened? Well, I have a, a friend, Sister Michelle, who who told me about a common Apostle John Chi, and I have been actually following him for uh, almost three years now. Even before he was at a common, he was in Lagos. A few months ago, a few pastors that are in the USA uh, felt that they were to come on a trip to visit Cameroon and visit AGCOM. And I asked the Lord if I could go. And two weeks before they planned to take off, a man offered to pay my whole way to visit AGCOM. And I knew that God was sending me here. Finally, when you arrived to the ministry at home, can you tell us what happened? It was the day that heaven came down and touched me. I was very opportune to be a part of the prayer line, and I was standing in the prayer line, watching the man of God, praying, meditating in my heart, and thanking the Lord for my healing before I had it. And he, the man of God came to me, he laid hands on me, and he prayed for me, the thing that I felt was the man of God's love. That is the greatest thing because the Bible says to do everything in love. I, uh, he prayed for me. That evening I was opportune to visit with the man of God. And he said to me that he, he was excited to see the results of testing my miracle. That I needed to go test my healing. And I knew in my spirit that was the word that I needed from the man of God. And so that night... I had fried fish, I had fried plantains. Uh, the next day, I ate eggs, which I couldn't eat eggs before without my medicine. I ate meat. That whole day, I, that night, I went to a, a restaurant here in Cameroon and had uh, some very good fish, fried plantains. And all of this, I did not take any medication, and I didn't have any problems. And then this morning, the big one was I had sausage and uh, uh, I had meat that I have not eaten for years and years and years. And I am having no symptoms. I'm having no problems, no discomfort. And I just thank God and I give Jesus Christ all the praise for what he did on the cross for me. And uh, I know that this is not only for my salvation, but for the salvation of my family and for my church and for my city and I just give God all the praise. We will thank God for your life and we thank God for the wonderful testimony and for what he has done for you. Uh, with this grammar I've done for you, what is the message of hope you are taking back home to those than your situation before? The message that I would speak to you is God is faithful. Believe that Jesus, that God has sent his word through Jesus Christ to heal every disease, to heal all your distresses, to deliver you from all your infirmities, and do not give up. I have been praying for many years for my healing. I have been praying, feeling at times that God had abandoned me. <laughs> but I continue to hold to his word I continue to go to his word, continue to go to God's word, continue to confess God's word in your life. Believe that God has given you a spirit of adoption, 
that he has adopted you as a child and that he loves you and that he has paid the price for your healing through Jesus Christ. Believe and you will have your miracle. God's time is the best time. Every time I would pray and not get a healing, I began to say God's time is the best. I know there's a time. I know there's a time and I know that I am healed. And now I have my healing. And now I have my manifestation. And not just for me. Your healing is not just for you. Your healing is for your family. It is it's so important. It's for your, your friends and your neighbors and your city. Because God wants to use your situation to elevate you to the next level. In Jesus' name. Find rest. My soul in Christ alone know his power in quietness and trust when the oceans rise and thunders roar I will soar with you above the storm Father you are king over the flood I will be still know you our God. So when the oceans rise and thunders roar, I will soar with you above the storm. Father, you are king over the flood. And I will be still, know you are God. We thank God for your life, and we thank God for the wonderful testimony, and we thank God for what he has done. And we want to encourage you that the healing you receive is by God's word, that we are to go and be ruled by his word. By so doing, your healing will be permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> we're, uh, these are, we're from the U.S. This is my real and good we friend. Sing, and we, we sing, sing together. And we pray together. And today the Lord has uh, come through for my brother. Jesus first, and then it was for all of you. Amen. To lift you into the presence of God. Amen. Amen. My name is Pastor Brett Leonard, and I'm from Washington State in America. And I've had a wonderful time in the presence of the Lord. And uh, I came... Uh, believing God for my healing for my stomach and ever since the uh, service I've had no problems with my stomach I normally take medication for my stomach every time I have to eat I have to take medication but today I did not take any medication and it is what four o'clock wow. and I have not taken any medication and I'm doing very good so I've been very blessed <laughs> Wow, praise the Lord. Well, what can you say about the man of God, Apostle John Chi? I've been very blessed to be around Apostle John Chi because of his humility and his sincere love. I feel the love of Christ constantly coming from him. He is a humble man, making me feel like I am a better man. And uh, I just thank God for that. That is such a beautiful quality and the, and the character of Christ that I see in him. And uh, I just thank God for what he's doing and through Apostle. What is the message of hope that you're taking back to your nation? Uh, Jesus still delivers. Jesus still heals. And he still saves. My nation needs the message of deliverance, and they need to know that Jesus can deliver them from uh, fears, from bondages, from their chains, and that the power of God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. With men of God like Apostle John Chi, what do you think uh, the future holds for the world? <laughs> 
heaven will come to earth. <laughs> That's what I believe. Heaven is coming to earth. It is touching earth. And we are so thankful because our citizenship is not here on earth, but it's in heaven. And Apostle is bringing home of heaven down to earth. And I'm so grateful and thankful for that. We thank God for your life and we thank God for the wonderful time you have in his presence. And I believe for all your heart desire have been granted in Jesus' name. Amen. My name is Pastor Brett Leonard. I am from Washington State in America. Keep watching Eggcom TV. Thank you. Thank you. Madam, you're welcome to Ark of God Covenant Ministry today in Jesus' name. Thank you. Please, can you tell us your name? I'm Apostle Lisa Elliott, uh, and I am from Center of Hope International Ministries in uh, USA. Well, um, I have experienced a deliverance. Um, and God has touched me. The anointing was very heavy up on Apostle John Chi. And um, I feel free. And I'm so thankful that I came. Powerful ministry. Amen. Oh, what can you say about the man of God, Apostle John Chi? Um, he is definitely a true apostle. Very heavy anointing for deliverance, unlike any that I've I've saw. This is the tenth nation that I've been in, but I've never seen this type of anointing for deliverance. It's been very powerful. Very honored to be here. Amen. Oh, what is the message of hope that you're taking back home to your country? Well, I pray that um, I got just a little anointing that I can take back for our churches, that we can also bring deliverance and more hope to our area. With men of God like Apostle John Chi, what is the message of hope for the whole world at large? Well, um, the hope is that there is deliverance through Jesus Christ and through the anointing um, that this man carries. There is, uh, there's hope to everyone. Amen. We thank God for your life. We thank God for the wonderful uh, moment you have enjoyed in His presence. And I pray that God Almighty will continue to grant your heart desires in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. My name is Apostle Lisa Elliott. I am with Center of Hope International in the USA. Keep watching ACOM television.